doctrine of checks and balances. This principle allows one department to resist encroachments upon its prerogatives or to rectify mistakes or excess committed by the other departments. The fact that the three great powers of government are intended to be kept separate and distinct does not mean that they are absolutely unrestrained and independent of each other. The Constitution has also provided for an elaborate system of checks and balances to secure coordination in the workings of the various departments of the government. Examples First, the President's power to veto. The President's power to veto an item written into an appropriation, revenue, or tariff bill submitted to him by Congress for approval through a process known as bill presentment. Another example of checks and balances is judicial review. Judicial review of laws or administrative facts, orders and regulations, and constitutional bodies. Another example is the confirmation by the Commission on Appointments of certain appointments issued by the President. Another example of the principle of checks and balances is the delegation to the Department of Budget and Management the power to administer the salary standardization law and to ensure that the spirit behind the latter is observed. And another example of checks and balances is the congressional oversights which must be confined to scrutiny based primarily on Congress' power of appropriation and the budget hearings conducted in connection with it, its power to ask heads of departments to appear before and be heard by either of its houses on any matter pertaining to their departments and its power of confirmation, and investigation and monitoring of the implementation of the laws pursuant to the power of Congress to conduct Inquiry, inquiries in aid of legislation.